Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering whole number division with decimal answers or decimal remainders, and we're going to be working with one-digit divisors. Now, when it comes to decimal answers or decimal remainders, we need to use a decimal point and placeholder zeros. You'll see exactly what I mean by that as we go through our examples. So let's jump into number one, where we have 41 divided by five. And the first thing we wanna do is set the problem up. So we have 41 divided by five. And we're going to use the same exact division process as any other problem. So we start with divide. So four divided by five. How many whole groups of five can we pull out of four? Well, we can't, so we need to look at the 41. So we have 41 divided by five. How many whole groups of five out of 41? Eight, that gets us to 40. Now we multiply eight times five, 40. Subtract we get one. So eight remainder one would be the correct answer, but we want this in decimal form. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a decimal point, place it after the 41, and then bring that straight up into your answer. And we're going to use a placeholder zero to the right of that decimal point. That way we have something to bring down and continue our division process. Placing a zero to the right of a decimal point does not change the value of the problem. So that zero, we still have 41 there. So it's okay to use that placeholder zero. Let's bring that down and continue. So now we have 10 divided by five. So how many whole groups of five out of 10? Two. Let me extend that there. Now we multiply, two times five is 10 subtract, and we get that clean cut zero. That's what we're looking for. Once we get that zero, we are done. So our answer is eight and two tenths. Now, sometimes we have to go beyond the tenths place. So for example, number two, we're going to have to use more than one placeholder zero. We have 330 divided by eight. So let's set that up. 330 divided by eight. Let's start with divide. So three divided by eight. How many whole groups of eight out of three? We can't do that, so we need to use the 33. How many whole groups of eight out of 33? Four, that gets us to 32. Four times eight, 32. Subtract, we get one and bring down our zero. So how many whole groups of eight out of 10? one. One times eight is eight. Subtract, and we get two. So 41 remainder two is our answer. But again, we want decimal form. So what we do, we place a decimal after the whole number, bring that straight up into our answer, and we use placeholder zeros to continue the process until we get a clean cut zero. Bring this zero down so we can continue. So we have 20 divided by eight. How many whole groups of eight out of 20? Two. I'll extend this again. So two times eight is 16. Subtract, we get four. So we did not get a zero. So we need to continue with placeholder zeros until we get to that zero. So let's put another zero. This still isn't changing the value of the problem. So we are now able to bring this zero down and continue our process. So we have 40 divided by eight. How many whole eights out of 40? Well, five, and that hits 40 exactly. So five times eight, 40, subtract, and we get that zero, and that lets us know that we are done. So our answer is, 41 and 25 hundredths. So there you have it. There's whole number division with decimal answers. Use decimal points and placeholder zeros to continue through the process until you get that clean cut zero. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.